The biggest challenge for anyone who has ever painted is edging next to trim, baseboards, and up to the ceilings. The options are paint pads, edging rollers, brush and tape. I will show these various tools used on a four foot wide display with four different types of trim. First we will look at pad edgers with wheels. They vary in price, quality, and performance. This tool appears to be an inferior design with poor quality pad material. The wheels on this product wouldn't contact the trim that was 3 8 inch wide. The pad started drying out after just 3 feet of edging. The second pad I tested was much superior. The wheels contacted the two 3 8 inch wide trims and I was able to get good coverage unloading a 4 foot section with each load. There are skills required to use these tools. The finished product next to T-Bar was very acceptable. None of the pad tools would work next to quarter inch wide trim edges like on baseboard. Next we will look at taping. Many who are concerned about getting paint on their trim choose to use tape. Taping is hated by most painters. The cost and time to apply and remove tape is frustrating. Even finding a starting point on most tapes can be challenging. The cost of these tapes vary from $3 to $10 a roll depending on the brand. Some of these tapes claim to eliminate bleed through which can be a problem. Sometimes experienced with different tape products. The finished product that can be delivered will vary depending on the quality of the tape and the skill of the painter. It was my experience as the rare occasion I used tape, the removing of the tape at the end of the paint job can be even more frustrating than applying the tape. After the tape is applied, most color change paint jobs will require you to edge next to the trim twice to complete an acceptable cut line. Choosing the right brush and knowing how to load and use a brush is the reason many hire professional painters. The quality of the brush and the skill of the user will dictate the cost and how much time it takes. Having painted for over 35 years, I found a number of quality brushes made in the USA around $25. Cutting in with a brush is the most common skill required for painters. A properly loaded brush should provide sufficient paint to cover two to three feet. It is important not to apply too much paint to the inside edge where the tape trim meets the wall. This could cause a buildup which could skin over, causing problems when the tape is removed. A close inspection after first cut will usually show paint lines that need to be addressed with the second coat. The first edging roller we will look at is the 3 inch fast trim mini rollers. These rollers fit on all standard wire handles designed for mini rollers. The microfiber fabric carries a full load of paint. It is important to unload the majority of the paint before any pressure is applied. Watch it edge next to 16 feet of trim in a single load. You can begin applying some pressure after approximately 12 feet. Finish unloading the roller, then you go back to the beginning and use the excess paint you had unloaded and finish the cut in next to the other trims. The red paint shield on the 3 inch mini roller is 2 millimeters thin. This allows you to get as close as a brush without the need to tape. The skill in how to use this roller will be shown at the end of the demonstration. Edging next to 16 feet of trim in less than 60 seconds is up to five times faster than brush and tape applications. Watch as the brush lines that were left from the first brush cut are covered in a few seconds with the fast trim 3 inch edger, completing the second cut. This shows edging 8 feet in 20 seconds. The fast trim jumbo mini roller is 4.5 inches long with 3 8 inch microfiber. These rollers work on all three-quarter inch frames. The red paint shield on the jumbo roller is four millimeters thick and is quite durable. This allows the painter to get as close as a brush. Watch closely as it shows unloading the majority of the paint in the first 12 feet before applying pressure to start the edging process. Then we go back to where we started using the paint that was unloaded to finish the cut-in process. 16 feet of edging performed in 41 seconds. The second coat was 37 seconds. Combined with the first cut, that is less than 80 seconds to complete both cuts. That is approximately five times faster than the brush and tape method. 
check at the end of the presentation for the comparison to the other tools and processes. These close-up shots show a crisp, clean finish with no brush lines, no paint on the trim. Those trims were T-bar ceiling trim, tile shooter trim, stained oak trim, and painted baseboards. In reviewing the options, a detailed analysis will show paint edgers can cost $5 to $10 and take 3 to 4 minutes and don't work on quarter inch wide trim edges. Tape and brush costs will vary $8 to $35 and could take 6 to 7 minutes or longer. Fast trim edging rollers cost $2 and take approximately 80 seconds. A paint roller that edges like a brush. Why brush when you can roll? These edging rollers are less expensive, more effective, and deliver a high quality finish in a fraction of the time. We have adjustable handles for both sizes of rollers. When mounted on an extension pole, they can eliminate ladder work. Keeping the outside edge of the red paint shield clean is important. Watch these simple instructions. It is best to tilt the tray to make sure you have some paint on the chevrons or sloped grid portion of the tray to load the roller on. Do not go down into the well or do not immerse the roller. Roll back and forth on the grid making sure the foam gasket is covered in paint. After you have loaded the roller, keeping the outside of the red shield clean is important. Here are three options for wiping the red shield to make sure it's clean a soft dry cotton cloth, a dry paper towel, and or a damp foam sponge. Any of these will work, but you need to make sure to keep the edge of the shield clean. Once the roller is loaded, you are ready to unload or texture the roller. It is important to apply a little more pressure to the paint shield end of the roller to get the foam gasket and shield dispensing paint. You may need to perform this task two or three times. Here are a few clips showing the mini and jumbo mini rollers in action. Later in the demonstration we will show how you can eliminate ladder work using our 11 position adjustable handle mounted on an extension pole. You will quickly find the pressure required to edge next to trim, up to 10 times faster than a brush. This animated clip shows the roller edging next to trim and creating a perfectly straight line, no tape or brush required. This video clip on unloading the 4.5 inch jumbo roller will show edging next to 7 feet of T-bar, 7 feet of typical window and door trim, and 7 feet of typical baseboard. Notice that most of the paint is unloaded before pressure is applied to the shield or the foam where it contacts the trim while performing the edging process. There is also a close-up of a 7-foot section edged next to in a matter of seconds. Notice no tape and no brush on final coat. The majority of color change paint jobs involves two coats of paints and two cuts with a brush. You can reduce your painting time by up to 60%. A short easy learning curve and once you get it you are going to be amazed at the speed and quality you can achieve, helping you eliminate taping, ladder and brushwork. You can save yourself dangerous ladder work by using our 11 position adjustable handle mounted on an extension pole. You can easily find the perfect angle that will work in the majority of high areas. Install it on an extension pole and you are ready to go. My tools are designed as an edging assist tool. You can get first cut accuracy on many paint jobs. A few edging tasks on first cut might still require some brushwork, like up to textured ceilings and on inside edges that have an irregular or rounded caulking bead. You can eliminate ladder work by using our adjustable jumbo edger on an extension pole to quickly get paint up to the ceiling. Then you can use a brush extender to finish the ceiling cut line safely from the floor. Here is a short clip showing edging on top of commercial base. Anyone who has ever painted on top of these vinyl trims will appreciate the ability to edge next to the trim and not need to use tape or a brush. In conclusion, our 11 position adjustable handle 
combined with our 3 inch mini or our 4.5 inch jumbo mini paint shield rollers will make your paint job easier, quicker, better and safer. There are advantages to both sizes. Our adjustable handles are universal. They can be used with all the other mini and jumbo mini rollers on the market. Finally, a painting tool and system that works for both DIY and professional painters. The world's only roller that edges like a brush. Why brush when you can roll?